property rights groups are asking the U.S. Supreme Court to block the state's voter ID law from being used in November's election. Yesterday, a judge ruled that it's too close to early voting to change the ID rules for the upcoming election. In an emergency appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, plaintiffs said keeping voter ID requirements in place will lead to confusion. Fox Force Kara Dixon is here in the studio and has more on this story. Kara? Clerk Carolyn Guidry, and she told me that her department was in the process of changing instructions for pollers and telling them they no longer, no longer needed to accept photo IDs when she found out that photo IDs were being required again. Guidry says they expect a lot of voters out for this election, and they want them to know they need to bring their IDs. Jefferson County Clerk Carolyn Guidry says her office is filled with mail-in ballots. It's been an extremely election season because we've had so many this year. Now Guidry, who's been clerk for 10 years, says she's training pollers for the November election. Just the other day, my chief deputy and I were talking about uh, changing the uh, the instructions for our poll workers. Earlier this month, federal judge Nelva Gonzalez Ramos blocked a law that would require voters to have a form of photo ID. As soon as we talked about changing that, then we got the ruling that that was stayed. Yesterday, the Fifth Circuit Court in New Orleans put a stay on Ramos's verdict, making the photo ID law stand. Now voters need one out of seven forms of proper identification. Republican candidate for the Texas House State, Phelan, says the ID law isn't strict. Uh, Texas's law is very accommodating. Phelan says disabled voters are exempt, and voters who need an ID can get a free election identification certificate from DPS. Frankly, you can't do anything in this world without an ID. Some of the IDs that can be used include a driver's license, a gun permit, and a military ID, but not a student ID, something that was accepted before the Senate Bill 14 was passed. For students at Lamar University, the news is a shock. I feel like you can use a student ID for a lot of things, so just to hear that you can't use it for certain things, especially like voting, something political, kind of just throws me off a little bit. Another student doesn't like the ruling because out-of-state students who live most of the year in Texas can't vote for laws that affect them. It would make sense to force people to use their Texas driver's license, but then you're not getting a true representation of how your people feel in Texas. Opponents of the law are planning on appealing the stay, but for now, voters will still need a photo ID. We don't know what's going to happen. That's all in the justice system. We don't have a say with what happens with that. We just have to comply with whatever the rule is at the time. And right now, at this time, the rule is you must provide a photo ID when you come to vote. To vote, you can use a Texas driver's license, a Texas personal identification card, a concealed handgun license, a U.S. passport, a military ID or a U.S. certification of citizenship, certificate of naturalization, or an election identification card. Voters are exempt from this if they are using a mail-in ballot or have a documented disability. For more information on this, visit fox4beaumont.com. In the studio, Kara Dixon, Fox 4 News.